Hello, songbirds. Fantastic that you are back again for another live songbird session. We have got a lot to do today, so let's get ready and do a warm up first of all. So remember, we have to get our bodies moving before we can use our voices. So, first thing, we'll do what we did last week. Can you remember? That's right, we did some running on the spot. And you had to use your really good observation skills to see if you could stop at the same time that I stopped. Okay, get on your spot. So up you get. Are you ready? Arms and feet as fast as you can. Three, two, one, go. Really, 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 really quickly. Were you watching? Did you remember to stop at the same time as me? Let's have another go. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Fantastic, you are getting good at that. Oh, and already my heartbeat is beginning to fat beat a little bit faster. What about yours? Can you have a feel? Can you feel your heartbeat? No? Right, so we'd better do a bit more running. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Do you remember to freeze at the same time as me? Make sure you're listening and looking so that you match my actions. Are we ready? One last time. Three, two, one, go. Well done. That was marvellous. Right, now we're going to have a little shake out first of all. And we're going to shake out this arm here. And we're going to shake out this arm here. And now we can do our leg. There we go. And we'll do our other leg. Brilliant. And this time, can you turn your wrist around like this? And we'll go the other way. And we'll do it with this hand. And we'll go the other way. And now, I want you to do the same thing with your ankle. So move your ankle, your foot around, so it's doing this down there. You can't see because my foot is off the camera. We'll go the other way and then we'll change legs too. Got to do really good balancing to balance on one leg as you do this. And if you're a little bit wobbly, then you could hold on to a piece of furniture or the wall if you've got the wall nearby. Brilliant. And now we're going to do our knees. So we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart. And we're going to move our knees around in a circle. And we're going to go the other way. Excellent. Mine are a little bit creaky today. I'm not sure if you can hear that on my microphone. And the other way. And then we're going to move up and we're going to do the same thing with our hips. So you can take your feet a little bit wider this time. And we're going to move our hips round. That's it, fantastic. A bit like if you're hula hooping. So I'm trying to keep my upper body nice and straight so I'm not going round with it because that's going to make me feel a little bit seasick. So moving your hips around and then we're going to go the other way. Fantastic. And then do you think we could do a figure of eight with our hips? Oh, that's a lot more difficult. There we go, brilliant. And now we'll do our shoulders. So they go up, all the way around. And then this way as well. Fantastic. And then we're just gonna drop our ear towards our shoulder and trying to keep our shoulders nice and level. So not lifting it up one way or the other. Keep those nice and level. And take that ear towards the shoulder. And that's giving us a lovely stretch here. And then we're going to go the other side. 
So I'm watching, I'm looking in my camera to make sure that my shoulders are not uneven, but they're nice and straight like that. Take my ear towards it. Ah, oh, and again, nice, lovely stretch down here. Fantastic, we're gonna do that once more, so we're gonna go this way again. And feel that lovely stretch just here. And then the other way. And remember to breathe while you're doing these. Don't hold your breath. It's really tempting to hold your breath. And then back to center. Brilliant, give everything a little shake again. While well, we've been still and we're gonna reach up. Oh, I think we'll have a big yawn while we're there. Oh, fantastic, yawning is great. Brilliant, and a little wiggle again. And once more, one big nice yawn for me. Oh, brilliant, okay, a little bit of reaching up now. One arm, bend the other. That's it, nice and tall. Oh, how high can I reach without jumping up? Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Now with both arms in the air, we're going to lean over. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to rub those ribs. Warm up all those muscles in between our rib, rib cage. Oh, give them a pat. Warm them up, wake them up. And we're going to go the other side. So again, nice gentle lean over. We don't need to go too far. We only need to go a little bit. Just to open up those ribs there. Give them a nice rub. That's it. Give them a pat. Fantastic. Excellent. One last yawn. And I think our bodies might be getting ready. Right, okay. So now we should do a little warm up with the tongue. Okay, so first of all, can you stick your tongue out for me? Fantastic. Now this time I want you to do the same thing again, but then I want you to copy where my tongue goes. It's gonna move around. I want you to move your tongue around with it. So first of all, we'll start with the tongue out. No, go, 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 go. Um, uh, up. And there. And the uh, <laughs> And that way. And uh, up. And then, and now we're gonna go all the way round. Are you ready? Tongs out. And and we'll go round all the way as well. Ah, fantastic! And that gives our tongue a really good stretch. Okay, we're gonna now use our tongue to clean our teeth. So swirl your tongue around your mouth, and you can change direction. And you can go right to the back. Right to the back, sorry. Where's right the bottom, please? Really good, and that gets the tongue warmed up, ready for singing too. Okay, can you do for me, gonna put our hands just here. So remember, we did this last time. So thumbs towards the back, and fingers nice and spread across your tummy. I'm gonna do Okay, so I'll do it first and then I want you to join in. Okay, here we go. And that last one you want to do until all of your air has come out. Are you ready? After three. One, two, three. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, and so all that needs to happen is a nice big breath in at the end. Fantastic. Right then, can you do for me a... Mm -hmm. 
Brilliant. What about this? <laughs> that was a long one, wasn't it? Did you manage to get it all in? Can you do Try. Okay, we're going to move on to a few different sounds now. And our first one is k, k. Okay, just like k for kick, k, k, or cat. So it's that k sound. Here we go. So k, 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 k. k, 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 k. k, 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 k. Brilliant. So now we're going to take that sound forward. So our k sound is made at the back, but now we're going to do a t, t, t for, oh, what can we have that begins with the t sound? Tennis or table? T, 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 t. T, 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 Brilliant. And we're going to move even more forward now to a sound made with our lips. We're going to do a for ping pong <laughs> or pet. So p, p, p. here we go, my turn first and then I want you to copy. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to go down towards the piano now. So I might need to bring you down a little bit with me. There we go, we'll take it down a little bit. Fantastic, you can still see me. And you'll be able to hear the piano as well. Let me get my chair in the right place. Right, so let's do really nice and gently. We're going to begin on an mmm, okay, mmm. And it goes like this. Some of you will know this already. So I'll do it first and then I want you to do it. And then this is our quick one. We'll do the tongue and the lips. So we have the tongue and the lips. The tongue and the lips. The tongue and the lips. Busy, 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 busy bee. An octave. An octave. Bam! 
Fantastic. Right then. Okay, moving on. It's time that we did a little bit of rhythm work. So if you've got something that could be a drum, then get hold of it now. Now it could be that you could use a pillow from your sofa and you could drum on your pillow or you could get a saucepan and a wooden spoon. That'd be a very loud drum, but it'd be fantastic. Or you might have, you could have, you might have a tambourine that you could use or some bells, could be anything, anything. So if you've got something, go and get it. I've got my jumbo here with me today. There we go. And we're going to have a look at our rhythm song. So this is, this is how a drummer, oh, this is how a drummer plays upon their drum. Okay, can you remember? This is how a drama plays upon their drum. Fantastic. And if you remember, we had this melody that went with it. So we had, this is how a drama plays upon their drum. Do you remember that from last time? And then you will hear me play a rhythm on my drum. You need to copy it back. Okay, let's have a go. So remember, this is how a drummer plays up on their drum. Can you do that for me? Ready, steady, off we go. This is how a drummer plays up on their drum. You get the idea. I think we can go straight for it and be ready listening for those rhythms on my drum and then I want you to copy it back. Okay, here we go then. So first one. This is how a drummer plays up on their drum. This is how a drama plays up on their drum. This is how a drama plays up on their drum. This is how a drama plays up on their drum. This is how a drama plays up on their drum. Fantastic. That was a super quick one at the end as well. Hopefully that made lots of noise on your drums at home. Okay, then we're going to move on to our very first song. And the first song we're going to do is our songbird song. Okay, so... We are the songbirds, come hear our song. We are the songbirds, come sing along. We sing together every day, making music as we play. Singing high and singing low, making music wherever we go. And I think some of you will have been joining in with the melody already. Okay, so let's have a look. Very quickly, I'll sing a line and I want you to sing it back. So we have first of all, We are the songbirds. Come hear our song. We are the songbirds. Come sing along. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Right, we can go straight for that with the piano as well. Let me move this around a little bit so I can still see you. Okay, so we're going to sing it twice through. No echo, we're just going to go straight through the whole thing so you can sing with me at the same time, okay? And we're going to do it twice. And we have a little introduction first. Okay, ready, steady, off we go. We are the songbirds, come hear our song. We are the songbirds, come sing along. We sing together. So that was our songbird song. We are the songbirds because we are the fantastic city songbirds. But we've got, I've got a new song for you this week. Okay. And it's called Tell Me a Story Today. And I want you to, um, I want you to get your thinking caps on because this is all about thinking about creating and writing your very own story. So after we've learned this song, you could then go off and write me a really good story and perhaps you could tell your teachers and they could send it in and let me know. And I could even read some of them out next time at our songbird session. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Okay, so the words, first of all, let's do that. So we have, tell me a story today. So that's the very first line, okay? And we do that twice. So tell me a story today. Tell me a story today. Then we have something adventurous, something adventurous, big, some big words in here, but you know them all. Something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Something exciting, not tepid, mild. Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation, we can make a new creation for ourselves. Tell me a story today. Tell me a story today. So there we go. Those are our words for our song. In fact, that was the entire song. So that first line, tell me a story today. Tell me a story today. Brilliant. Let's put our melody to that. So we have, it goes like this. Tell me a story today. We have that beautiful long note at the end. Should we try that again? I'll sing it first and then I want you to sing it back for me. Tell me a story today. Fantastic. So remember, we sing that line twice, just like we did then. Now the next one, something adventurous, thrilling and wild. So we've got some great words in there that are describing what our story could be. Adventurous, thrilling and wild. OK. And here is how it goes. Something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Okay, that first one again. Something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Can we get those in? Try with me. Something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Brilliant. So let's break that in two. So we'll do the first bit and the second bit. So we have something adventurous. Have a go. Something adventurous. 
Very good. And then the last bit, thrilling and wild, thrilling and wild. So if we put those together, we have something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Brilliant, well done. Now our next one, something exciting, not tepid and mild. So we don't want, we don't want a boring story, not a tepid story, and not something mild. We want something exciting and wild. Okay, so those words again, something exciting, not tepid and mild. Okay, and it's the same tune that we had before. Something exciting, not tepid and mild. Okay. Something exciting, not tepid and mild. Your go. Brilliant. Let's see if we can put our first two lines together with our third and fourth line. So remember, we have tell me a story today. We do that twice. That's right. You remembered. So I want. Two, three, four. Tell me a story today. Tell me a story today. Something adventurous. Something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Something exciting, not tepid and mild. Fantastic. Let's try that again. Ready, steady, off we go. Tell me a story today. Then we go into our next section, okay? Lots of more words in here to learn. So our first one, using your imagination. Using your imagination. We can do that. And it goes like this. Using your imagination. Can you do that? Using your imagination. Don't just think in isolation. So don't just think about it on your own. We're gonna to work together. Don't just think in isolation. So, don't just think in isolation. So those two together, they're only one note apart, really small note apart. We've only got a semitone between them, so really close. Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation. There we go. And then the next bit, we can make a new creation. We can make a new creation. And that goes up again, just one extra note. We can make a new creation. You've got to watch out for that sneaky note at the end that dips up. We can make a new creation. Right in the middle of our word, creation. It's the A in the middle of there that goes up. New creation. Okay, so we've got those three lines those rhyming lines to get in. So we've got imagination, isolation, new creation. Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation. We can make a new creation. Let's see if we can do those with our notes. So we have using your imagination, don't just think in isolation. We can make a new creation. Brilliant. And then the last little bit, for ourselves. Okay? And it's really simple. We just come down like this. For ourselves. For ourselves. So, pulsing those four lines together, we have using your imagination. Don't just think in isolation. We can make a new creation for then the last two, uh, well then we would go right back to the beginning and do all again and then we have a, a special ending, a coda to pop on, pop on at the end. Right, so using your imagination, let's do that little section again. Using, ready, steady, off we go. Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation, we can make a new creation for ourselves. Fantastic. 
Then it goes back to Tell me the story today Tell me a story today Something adventurous, thrilling and wild Something exciting, not tepid and mild Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation We can make a new creation for ourselves Tell me a story today And the ending Tell me a story today What did I do on the ending? Because it was a little bit different So I sang Tell me a story today Tell me a story today So what was different? Have you worked it out? Yes, that last note wasn't the same one as before, was it? It was higher. We finish on a higher note and that tells us that it is the end of the song. So we do it all the way through twice and then put on our special ending, our coda, which has our high notes. And remember to make those long notes at the end of the phrases really long. Should we try the whole thing all the way through? Okay. Right, so tell me a story today, tell me a story today. Let's have a go. One, two, three, four. Tell me a story today. Tell me a story today. Something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Something exciting, a tip in a mind. Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation. We can make a new creation for ourselves. Tell me a story today. Tell me a story today. Something adventurous, thrilling and wild. Something exciting, a tip in a mind. Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation We can make a new creation for ourselves Tell me a story today Tell me a story today Did you remember that coda at the end where we go up for our special ending? Fantastic! Well, I really hope that that has got your imagination going and thinking about all the wonderful stories that you could create. Hmm, what could we have? We could have stories about dragons and far off lands or volcanoes or, or all sorts. The possibilities are endless when you start using your imagination. Hopefully, like I say, hopefully we can have some really good ideas, maybe even some short stories that you could send in to us as well. And I can read them out next time. Right then, before we go, we're going to have one last go all the way through of our brand new song. I can't believe it, Songbirds. We have learnt a new song again. So for some of you who joined me last week, we learnt the We Are The Songbirds song. So we did one new song last week. And then Today, not only have we recapped that, we've done that, and then we've learnt our new song all about telling a story. Oh my goodness, you are hard working songbirds. Right then, get yourselves ready for our final sing through of our brand new song, Tell Me a Story Today. So get up for me, I want you to stand in, we're going to do a performance, so stand up for me, nice and tall, remember feet should be shoulder width apart, fantastic, and arms by our sides. So we'll have a little bit of an introduction first of all, and then we're going to come in, okay, here's our introduction, off we go. Tell me a story today. Tell me a story today Something adventurous, thrilling and wild Something exciting, not a bit of mind Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation We can make a new creation for ourselves Tell me a story today Tell me a story today 
picture is thrilling and wild Something exciting, not tap in a mind Using your imagination, don't just think in isolation We can make a new creation for ourselves Tell me a story today Tell me a story today Well done, songboards. Give yourselves a round of applause because that was fantastic work today. We, Like I said, we've learned a new song and we've done some fabulous singing. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye, songbirds.